Hello my friends and welcome to a new video for Infinity Kingdom. This is Biakian Official Resources. And we back again to the Tower of Knowledge uh, skills review. And we have uh, for this skill uh, video review the KVK skill Sniper. Sniper one of the most important skills that I wanted and I desired the most. And finally I, I got it and I wanted to make a video about it because I saw some uh, players play with this skill uh like they are misusing this skill yes this skill deals damage but you have to use it carefully if you want to target one immortal yes as it's called sniper you can snipe an immortal in the back line let's read the description first sniper is a triggered or triggered uh, skill that only can be used on a position limited for range immortals you can you cannot use it on mage immortals or support immortals or attack immortals or defense immortals you can only use it on range immortals so it does what it does or what is the skill uh, description for every six seconds after the battle starts you have 55 chance uh, to cause 55 percentage chance to cause physical damage the damage is going to be uh, up to 400 percentage physical damage to the enemy that is the farthest to you what does it mean i will show you in the reports if the target's troop number is more than 50 percentage the damage is increased by 50 percentage more damage so the second half of this skill is so simple if the target's troops number is more than 50 percentage the damage is increased so it deals damage in the first uh, fight or in the first early uh, game while fighting and what does the first half of the skill description means it means that it will target the forces for this uh, target let's show in the report here let's open any report let's open like here this defense uh, defeat we can see this oh i'm, I'm not i'm using it on my jinkies here i'm using a sniper on jinkies so have you, as you see the furthest immortal from jinkies is Tidora. so for example if i clicked on stats here and i saw Tidora damage taken 100 i will see the damage from sniper coming from jinkies on Tidora. i will never see a damage on himiko so here jinkies is facing athena in his uh, face and himiko behind athena so Tidora is the immortal that is furthest than jinkies so you can say it as an x an x uh, lines here jinkies if he is here he will target Fedora. so this is a bad use of sniper if i want to target the backline damage dealer himiko i would rather use jinkies instead of hammurabi uh formation lineup here and i would use hammurabi here uh instead of jinkies so my uh, jinkies if he if i use jinkies in the top corner here he will target him of course let me show you here on uh, numbers so i will tell you uh, what i'm talking about if i choose Fedora and i'm choosing damage taken and here as you see jinkies damage is the most damage uh, coming from uh, from on Fedora from jinkies and here a jinkies deal damage uh, by his ultimate skill three times and by sniper two times so sniper here got an effect on Fedora. If I clicked on Hemiko and for example I'm choosing here damage taken, I am seeing sniper as well. And let's check why I'm seeing sniper here. Let me just use here replay. <coughs> I don't know why sniper got some damage on uh Theodora. maybe because that damage when Hemiko uh, used her skill on Hammurabi I believe this is how uh, the damage is calculated I'm just preparing my boost button here
I'm keep checking the stats and I'm not seeing anything. Okay, now Hammurabi is in the Void Realm. I believe at this moment when Hammurabi went in the Void Realm by Himiko, it calculated as Jinkies is targeting Himiko. I believe this is uh, why... Yeah, this is why now Himiko is the furthest immortal than right now here. I believe that's how Himiko got some damage. That will leave us uh, to uh, the damage because Fedora got like 1 million damage while Himiko got around 600 damage. So that shows us that uh, Jinkies wasn't having full troops. Let me show you another report without uh, having Himiko in the backline because Himiko made me uh, have a confuse. This is Aroha. Aroha is a strong player, but I didn't uh, had to use my uh, lightning in this fight. I need, yeah, this is Himiko as well. You can check at least this report. So the damage taken on Himiko by Jinkies, he used Sniper and on Zenobi as well he used Sniper. We need another, another fight guys, we need another fight. Here let's see on damage taken. Here we can see Sniper on Ken Emperor. And yeah, this is a marsh doesn't have Himiko. Because Himiko made things like look like a mess to be honest. Here Jinkies is on uh, the left corner here. He is not on the top, he is on the bottom. And because he is on the bottom, he will target the Immortal on the top. This is the furthest Immortal uh, from Jinkies. If my Jinkies was on the top, he will be targeting the Immortal on the bottom here. Uh, so Jinkies here targeted Ken Emperor with a Sniper. You can see the damage taken or the, um, the troops losses on this Immortal is more than uh, Zenobia because he got more damage from Sniper. Sniper deals damage when you have more troops to be honest. So this is how you can see the Sniper damage is 1,600,000 damage while Arrow Storm is only 600 damage, 600,000 to be honest. Uh, I'm talking just numbers uh, very low. And here on uh, Zenobia, you can see you can see zero damage from Sniper. We can see uh, another report on Dungeon Melon, for example. Here we are seeing our wait. Where is our lightning? Here our lightning. Oh, I was starting fire here on a defense. So Jinkies 100% uh, deal damage to Zenobia. We can see on the troops losses here on the uh, blue color, and Ken Ember doesn't uh, or didn't take damage from Sniper. We can see this 100% sure. We can see little damage, maybe because maybe because this is how the target. Of course, Richard died first. I'm just building a theory here. If Richard died first, then Jinkies will switch uh, targets. Because Zenobia will walk uh, a little bit closer. This is a theory. I believe it will work right now. If Richard died first. Yeah, yeah. It's 100% Richard will die first. Then Zenobia will walk and get closer to Jinkies. Then... As you see here, Jinkies will start targeting uh, Ken Ember instead of Zenobia. When Zenobia uh, walks closer to uh, Tokugawa instead of hitting uh, Richard. So, right now, on the same line here, Zenobia walked closer uh, to the fight to target Tokugawa. Then Ken Ember stayed on his uh, position. Uh, let me just skip here and show you where was Zenobia uh, standing and how Zenobia got closer this is when your front line dies only when your front line dies let me pause here so did Zenobia walk or not so keep blocking on the floor where is Zenobia standing and when will she uh, 
like get closer to the floor we will wait for Richard to die here after Richard died Zenobia walked from this part to this part from this second now can Emperor still uh, having the back line furthest uh, position when Jinkies uh, sniper is going to target now can Emperor instead of Zenobia because Zenobia walked from here to here to start targeting Tokugawa with her uh, normal attacks this is how it works guys uh, but in normal cases when you're both of your uh, immortals in the front line still alive and his front line stays alive Jinkies will always target the uh, top uh, immortal here when he is on the bottom when he is on the top he will target the bottom immortal till something happens if your front row changes or the back uh, row here moves then it will change targets as well and that's all for this skill guys i hope you enjoyed and understood this skill with me thank you all for watching and see you soon